hello everyone now i am going to explain oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously with four examples right so let's get started our first example is this is ferric chloride and this is hydrogen sulfide uh, by the reaction between these two compound we get ferrous chloride hydrochloric acid and sulfur right if you observe here the oxidation state of ferric ion is 3 plus but here the oxidation state of iron is 2 plus that is uh, iron uh, iron 3 plus is taking one electron right so this is reduction process because uh, in this process electron is being gained right but this this ion is a oxidizing agent as it is taking electron on the other hand this process is a oxidation process because in this process sulfide ion is is uh, losing two electron and and thus this process is called oxidation process and this sulfide ion is a reducing agent reducing agent always lose electron see here i am going to balance this reaction ferric chloride right this is we can write this compound like this way right we can write this way this is iron and this is 3 chlorine right and this ferric ion right this ferric ion will take one electron and will get ferrous ion which has 2 plus right so this ferric ion is oxidizing agent and since in this process electron is gained so this is reduction process right well again hydrogen sulfide right again hydrogen sulfide we can write hydrogen sulfide like this way right and this sulfide ion will release electron will release electron and it will go to zero oxidation state since in this reaction electron is lost so this is oxidation process and this sulfide ion is a reducing agent as you know that reducing agent always lose electron so to balance electron you see that sulfide is losing two electron but iron is taking one electron so we have to balance the uh, electron for this we have to multiply this equation by 2 then we'll get 2 electron and 2 ferric ion so to balance the ferric ion we also have to multiply this equation by 2 then we'll get 2 ferric ion and you have to deduct this this and this then if you add then you are getting ferric chloride then hydrogen sulfide this you, you have to deduct this then <coughs> then you are getting ferrous chloride right this is ferrous ion well let me uh, do it again well so we are getting ferric ion this is hydrogen sulfide and then we have to take at first positive ion right Fer ferrous ion uh, since uh, we have negative chloride so we have to take chloride then we have to take two 
spherical here is 2 and then HCl uh, positive will go to negative we will get uh, hydrogen uh, hydrochloric since there are two uh, protons so we have to give a two and then we are getting one molecule of sulfur so this is the balance equation well we will go to the next example right well this is our <coughs> second example you see that the oxidation state of chlorine here is zero and in hydrogen sulfide the oxidation state of sulfide is 2 minus but after reacting with each other chlorine is being minus 1 and sulfide is being 0 so since electron is lost by this reaction so this is oxidation process and and since by this process right chlorine to chloride oxygen is gained so this is reduction process and since chlorine is taking electrons so this is oxidizing agent chlorine is oxidizing agent oxy oxidizing agent i will write it later and sulfide is losing electron that is why this is reducing agent right so again we can write hydrogen sulfide like this way to hydro two proton plus sulfide this sulfide will lose electron and will get sulfur sulfur so since in this process electron is lost so this is oxidation process and since sulf sulfide is releasing electrons so this is reducing agent right on the other hand chlor this is chlorine chlorine is taking to electron so this is oxidizing agent as you know that oxy oxidizing agent must take electron and in this process electron is gained so this is reduction process so now you have to balance the electron so two electron two electron so you have to deduct uh, so also deduct this sulfur and this sulfur so you are getting hydrogen sulfide then chloride then you have to consider positive so two molecule acl then one molecule sulfur right now we'll go to the third example see here this is ferric chloride and tannous chloride but after but we are getting the product ferrous chloride and tannic chloride so here the oxidation state of iron is 3 plus but here 2 plus that is electron is gained in this process so this is oxidation process and since this is taking electron so this is oxidizing agent on the other hand here's the oxidation state of tin is 2 plus on the other hand here the oxidation state of 4 plus that is 2 electron uh, is lost so this is a oxidation process and this is a reducing agent as it is releasing two electron for oxidizing agent right so we can write right we can write this ferric chloride right we can write this ferric chloride like this way iron 3 plus plus 3 chlorine and then you know that this iron 3 plus will take one electron and will get iron 2 plus right 
and then tenous chloride can be written as like this tenous 2 plus and chlor chloride this tenous ion will release two electron and will get tenous 4 plus right so to balance to balance the number of electron right here tenus is releasing two electron but iron 3 plus is taking one electron so to absorb two electron we have to multiply this equation by two if you multiply here by two then the number of iron 3 plus will be two so you have to also multiply this equation by two and now you have to deduct electron electron tenus 2 tenus 2 ferric 3 plus ferric 3 plus now if you add this is ferric chloride and ferric chloride will have two molecules because we are multiplying by two and here tenus chloride then we are getting ferrous 2 plus and the opposite ion is chloride so ferrous chloride right uh, ferrous chloride and ferrous ion has two molecules so we have to multiply by two and we also have 10, 10 4 plus that is uh, we have to take chlorine 4 right so this is the balanced balance reaction right okay this is our fourth example of oxidation reduction process occurs to show oxidation reduction process happens simultaneously sodium plus chlorine we get sodium chloride but here the oxidation state of sodium is zero but in sodium chloride the oxidation process is plus one so in this process electron is lost that is why this is oxidation process and here the oxidation state of chlorine is zero and but in sodium chloride the oxidation state of chlorine is minus one that is why in this process one electron is gained the, so this is reduction process chlorine is oxidizing as in chlorine is a, uh, uh, is a oxidizing agent right and sodium is a reducing agent so reducing agent sodium is a reducing agent right chlorine is a oxidizing agent oxidizing so sodium is uh, releasing one electron here yeah, sodium is a reducing agent and since in this process electron is lost so this is oxidation process and on the other hand chlorine is taking two electron this is a reduction process right reduction process so if you balance the electron then you have to multiply here by two so this electron this this two electron two electron will vanish and you will get two molecules sodium as you are multiplying here by two and you will get one molecule chlorine and sodium uh, two molecule sodium chloride here since you are multiplying sodium by two so thank you for viewing this video be well